everyone, this is Art Insomnia on social media and here is my tutorial for my gouache painting of the cauldron that I posted recently. It is on black paper which is why I put white underlayer or underpainting over all objects that I will paint because it's really hard to get things to show up on the black paper. And this is gouache paint. So I do the cauldron first because it's just going to be black and white and now you see me painting in the nettle I alternate between different types of green to get the right color or the color I want and first I do the leaves and then I add the spikies at the end and after that I'll add some more leaves into the background well, of course after drawing everything like details on you see there's multiple layers and you can see the colors gradually change with the layers as I try to get them to the color that I want it to be. And I'm mixing, the palette that I'm mixing, there's um, green with white and green with black or green with gray. So I could get different shades. The ones in the background, they don't have a white underpainting and it adds atmospheric perspective as in they look further away. Right now I'm painting the Mandragora and I just add this green that I think matches my source photo and the flowers are a very pale lavender so I start with white then then a lot and then a more of a purplish white and then I also do highlight the not highlights the dark center star thing I so I do flower color center color flower color center color alternating between different layers and drying it with the hair dryer at the end it all dried semi-transparent so you can see through the different layers i also like how with multiple layers you can there's the option of blending the colors because there's so much paint on it but i have to be careful because this is sketchbook paper and i can't put too much water too many layers so the leaves i just put some white detailing in there just because they were really crinkly. Now this is the henbane that I'm painting. The flowers were yellowish so I put a cream color and then they had these dark spots in a dark center. And I just keep adding on different layers with I try to keep the bruh the it I try to control the water so it's not very watery because I'm using sketchbook paper and I don't want it mixing all the colors together because if it's dry I can add a little bit more water later to blend it in and you'll see me constantly drying with a hairdryer to keep it dry so I can add another layer and if I do want to mix it I can mix a slight bit of color on my brush or I can just make my brush slightly damp and then here are the leaves I paint in the shapes with the generic green and eventually I try to separate between the different leaves between like a darker or a lighter shade of green or the outlines at this point I decided to just do some well, here are the, the veins. And then I use a darker green to try and separate the leaves. Eventually, I decided it just looks okay. And then I go on to the Aquanite, which was very purple. So I put, so I alternated between purple and light purple, purple with lots of white, and then more purple. And then when it's thick enough, I add the highlights and then you see me slightly blend it with a little bit more purple or just see I add on a little bit of paint so my brush is somewhat wet and then that and if I have enough layers then I can blend it. This one the leaves are really spiky. So I did that. And then I put some highlights in to, for details. And at this point I, after this I decide to add more plant coverage so more of the painting would be covered. And I also paint back to front, which is different from when I use color pencil, which is front to back. Okay, um, thank you for watching my video. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you liked it. I'll try to make better tutorials. This one was 
okay. The painting was okay. I guess I'm really picky. I, I should paint on paper that's not black next time. And hmm, let me know if there are any ideas of what I should paint next. Or what type of tutorials, art related, that you'd be interested in. And thank you for watching. Later!